Working in conjunction with the vertical grading editor, we can also open up cross sections of our string. Prior to doing this, we're going to just restore down the display of the vertical grading editor by clicking on the following button. You can always manually move and readjust the size of the vertical grading editor using the uh, corners and the sides if you wish. We're going to move the form just to the left hand side. In the vertical grading editor display, we're going to right click roughly around a station 1000. In the background, you'll see a cross section window is now being displayed, and we can move that over to one side. You'll see an orange line in the vertical grading editor, and this highlights where we have a cross section open. If we continue to right click in the vertical grading editor, you'll see that the cross section will adjust to the station that we have chosen. So we can right click wherever we want. If you hold down shift and right click, we will open multiple cross section windows. So you can see now I've got three of the cross section windows open. For clarity, we're going to just shut down any additional cross sections we've got open and leave the original still displayed on the screen. It doesn't matter what station you're seeing in the cross section view. If you do want to change, you can always click on the pull down, scroll down and pick an alternative station. You can also use the left and right arrow buttons to cycle through the stations that are available. The cross section window is subject to the same controls that we use to navigate in the vertical grading editor. So we can hold down our mouse wheel to pan and we can scroll to zoom in and out. We can also double click the mouse wheel to zoom and fit the cross section view within the frame. Down the bottom, we're provided with information about the position of the mouse in the screen and also the nearest code. On the display tab at the top, we can control what content we see within the cross section window, similarly to the vertical grading editor. Click on the open viewer settings button. And in this form, we can nominate different elements to be shown in the cross section window. So we may not want to see depths, we may want to see the codes instead. So you go ahead and do that now. Uncheck show depth, check show code. Underneath, we can control the color of the screen in the background. So if you did want an alternative color, you could choose one. The default vertical exaggeration is currently coming in at 100. You may find that something around two or five is more appropriate, but you can change that as and when you wish. And the frame size itself of the cross section window is defaulting to 900 by 400 pixels. So again, if you wanted something smaller or bigger to be generated every time you open up a cross section, you could do that. Click OK. Go back to the Home tab. This is a live cross section. So whenever we make changes to the vertical design, this cross section will update. And to show you how this works, I'm just going to demonstrate on mine. You don't have to do this on yours. I'm going to use the move IP up and down button and move. I'm just going to readjust the vertical grading editor here so we can see what's happening. I'm going to move one of the IPs up and down. And as we do this, you can see that the cross section is dynamically updating and changing as we make those changes. So it's a live view. If you find yourself in a position where you'd like to have a cross section window open for a particular string, but you don't actually have the vertical grading editor open, you can access the cross section windows by going up to the roads tab and pulling down the open vertical grading pull down. In there, there is open cross section window. So select that from the list. And then we're going to zoom over to the start of road one and we can either press enter to choose road one from a list or left click close to the alignment on the plan. Once we've done that, we will require a second click in the drawing. This is to indicate where we would like to have a cross section open. So if you know the vicinity of where you'd like to have a cross section open, you don't have to be exact. You can just click in the region of the area that you're after. So we're just going to left click somewhere around this point here in the drawing and left click. And if the software happens to open up a cross section that's very, very close to where you've picked, you can always use the arrow buttons here on the cross section window to cycle through your cross sections. If you've got a lot of cross sections open, we're just going to close this form. Within the same pull down, there is a close cross section windows button, and that will close any cross section windows that are currently being displayed on your screens.